At the age of 10, my mother and brother and sister and I took the ship from Southampton in England to, um, to come to the United States. We came from a kind of dark industrial northern English town to, you know, the brilliant color of fall in New Jersey, northern New Jersey. I only wanted to see, as a 10-year-old, the Empire State Building. My grandfather came to America from occupied Poland in 1911, and he got work as a pocket maker in a New York City garment factory. And that's when he noticed that things weren't fair, that people had to work in sweatshops or had to work 70 to 80 hour work weeks and still didn't have a, a living wage. My father, he was basically raised in, in Chifu and spoke several dialects of Chinese. He you know, loved the Chinese and loved the culture. By the time I was born, you know, it was a fairly good life. Of course, once the Japanese came, in 1937, it started to slow down. And, you know, this solid life that they had created uh, could really be decimated by this other force. We lived during the time period of what's known as um, the Killing Fields. And miraculously, after four years of living um, in uh, labor camps and concentration camp-like settings, we all escaped together. Um, we moved to the Berkshires when my daughter, who is turning 21, was one month old. So this was home. This is where I became an adult. This is where I was a mother. This is where I experienced the most important chapter of my life. So what is home for me? It's this place. There are many reasons why I created Dreamers, but one of the most important ones is that I wanted to celebrate what immigrants bring to a new country when they arrive. They bring their strength, they bring their abilities, their talents, their passion, las ganas por hacer algo. We come and not necessarily thinking that what we are gonna change is our own life, but how we are gonna be adding and changing the life of those that come after us. We all have things to say, we all have stories, and we do it in different ways. Someday, we will become something we haven't even yet imagined. But right now, we are stories, we are resilience, we are hope, we are dreamers, soñadores of the world. Thank you.